this is uh, not exactly the video I wanted to be making today, but with every project there's some ups and downs. I had the uh, have the clutch installed. I have the gearbox on. You can see I've got the charging system components all wired in here. The uh, diode board, uh, voltage regulator, starter relay, and I ran the engine last night. Uh, yesterday afternoon actually and good news is the charge light works once the engine was running the charge light went out and I have a voltmeter hooked up and we had high mid to high 13s and she climbed up to above 14 volts so the charging system components are good uh, the not so good news you can see the transmissions off no matter what I did when I was running it, I couldn't get fourth gear. It's a bunch of uh, just gear noise, uh, crashing and gnashing, and generally just I wouldn't go into fourth gear. So I took the uh, gearbox off. That's pretty easy. Three bolts and uh, one nut, and took it apart. Yesterday, put it back together this morning, had a look, couldn't find anything wrong with the shift mechanism. Just really couldn't see any reason why it wouldn't achieve fourth gear. So, put it back together, put it back on. This morning I ran it again, same thing. So, I had to go deeper to find the issue. And here we've got the components that were in the, the gearbox. Um, the input shaft and the uh, output shaft. And here's the issue here, the sliding collar. Uh, see it easily slides into third gear. Um, but no matter what I do, it won't slide onto fourth gear. Uh, no problem to third. Won't go on to fourth. I remove the bearing. Move fourth gear. And you can see that the bushing is all wore out on the shaft, it's bronze bushing, and it's also seized to the shaft. So, and fourth gear here, try to fit this on. See the play in that bushing? That's no good. And the sliding collar. No matter what you do, it's not going to slide onto fourth gear. So to repair or to use this uh, shaft, have to cut off the bushing, get a new bushing, get a new fourth gear. Okay, but in the boxes of stuff, we've got another output shaft, and uh, it seems to be in good shape. Bearing off. You notice here there is no clunking, no movement in the fourth gear up and down like the other one. And see the sliding collar engaged to fourth, engaged to third. Absolutely no problem. That's how it should be. And I'll take this fourth gear off here. And you can see that shaft's in good shape, and there's the bushing. Moves on the gear, moves on the shaft. So, got a good shaft here. Good output shaft to use. You can see that the bearings, or sorry, the bushing's got in good shape. So got the oil and grooves in it and everything. And I've checked everything else on this shaft, so it's good to go. Just got to press the bearing on on the output end, uh, shim and a washer to go on first. Now the input uh, shaft here, this is the spline that goes into the clutch. Uh, this looks new actually, this is the one that was in the gearbox. But uh, thankfully I took it apart. There's this bearing. that noise. I shot some oil into it to see whether it was just a little bit of rust build up but just actually moving it back and forth I can feel it in there. We have a second input shaft. 
have a bearing. No noise, but look at the spline here. I think you can see the wear. This uh, spline's been used with a worn out clutch, I guess, and the uh, can see wear on each of the spline uh, teeth there. So this would be usable, but it's a lot easier, a lot better rather. We'll change this bearing out, so to do that I'll have to bring the shaft to work uh, and use a, uh, use a uh, bearing splitter to get that, press that off of there. There's a pressed on collar and I have a couple of good bearings here to put on in its place. Uh, there's some new forks. The forks are in good shape. Shift forks are in good shape. There's a set of new ones here. There's all kinds of stuff. So we'll mix and match and 